Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you can. And don't forget, please, to download the video right after we finish. Uh, a Muhammadan, he left a comment for me, which is a nice comment, actually, and I'm really surprised that a Muslim is speaking to me in a nice way. This is unusual. Due to the nature of this cult of Islam, always they speak in a violent uh, tone. This uh, Muhammadan, he said, CP, may Allah guide you to the truth of Islam. Our Creator gives us two eyes, sorry, two ears. Uh, I think you want to say not only, uh, and only one mo uh, mouth. Please do listen more than talking. I find that this comment is kind of. Uh, uh, funny it's coming from a Muslim because it is Muslims who don't even know what is written in their books and they are the one who talk too much but they say nothing as an example you pray to your God five times a day you never ask yourself I mean what the point repeating the same prayer at least say something different imagine you have a father or a son you call him five times a day and you say to him what he said to you not even your own words Repeating the same message for eternity. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Auz billahi min ash What the point? How boring. How boring. Same time, when a Muslim says, "May Allah guide you," I wonder what the "may" stand for. I mean, why Allah will not guide me? Why me? Is it a wish? So Allah, he can guide me, but he don't want to guide me. Me, Allah guide you. So you are asking Allah to guide me. But isn't it Allah in the Quran, he said, he don't guide. He is the one who misguide. It's obvious that Muslims do not know much about their cult. If we go in the Quran, we will find that all the problems in the world, happen because Allah he want them to happen each time I speak to a Muslim the Muslims he surprised me by saying ah, I never heard this before to the point I'm not surprised no more in chapter 6 verse 112 the Quran saying and we have appointed to every prophet devils my friend the devils are appointed by your by your God if you don't like this translation by the way you can change it for you I mean all of them for me is funny stupid translations but you are the one who don't speak Arabic for me I don't really depend on the in the Muslim translations because never I never saw a Muslim giving an accurate one and most of it is deceiving in purpose and so we have appointed for every prophet enemies shayateen shayateen Allah is appointed shayateen is appointed by Allah so let us say shaitan did misguide me but as you see shayateen is appointed by Allah are you do you understand what I'm saying we you know the Muslims always you know like when they speak about religion uh, uh, they mention the word Satan and the Christians they have the same word and the Jews they have the same word so we assume right away that the Muslims understanding of Satan is the same as a Christianity and this is the mistake Christians always do in Islam Satan is appointed by God he is a servant of Allah Satan is just a person doing his duty 
is not a person who is against God really now for sure the Quran is full of contradictions as an example Allah he orders Satan uh, which was supposed to he is one of the genie and this is another mistake the Christians they fear into they think that Satan is an angel according to Islam no Satan in Islam is not an angel the same as in Christianity in Islam Satan is a genie genie is a creature made of fire which is a fantasy from a legend and never exist so this genie or shaitan as you see all of them they are appointed by Allah actually in different verse we will see that even shaitan they work for prophet like Suleiman <clears throat> and not only they work for him actually he have a full command over them if you go to chapter 34 verse number 13 and if you go to the verse before it read really carefully and into Suleiman we gave the wind this is the flying carpet by the way, I used to have a flying carpet and I sold it in eBay. Because, I mean, everybody driving a nice car except me using a flying carpet. And USA is not allowing that. There's no license plate. There's n So I have to give it up. And interestingly, man, we gave the wind. He controlled the wind. And if you go to the interpretation, you will see that this flying carpet can carry... 600,000 chairs, which is really small. I mean, my dad flying carpet was bigger. I think it was like 600,000 and one chair. And it was four doors. So the man have no doors at all. And then you will see here that this carpet can go like uh, in a distance of one month uh, or can fly in a speed of one morning, a distance of a month. Which is very funny. I mean, this is very slow because Muhammad is measuring to the distance speed of camels. I mean, anyway. And then we caused <clears throat> the fount of Cooper gush forth for him, Cooper. And we gave him certain of the jinn who work before him by permission. So, jinn, they work for Suleiman. And jinn are many kind. And if we go and read the story, we'll find that shayateens working for Suleiman, not only genie. Genie, remember, shaitan is one of the jinn, but not necessarily every genie is a shaitan. And then you will see even they build for him a synagogue, and here they build even for him statues. And the Muslim, they say to us, Islam is against idols. But as you see, even the Quran claiming that Allah, he gave Suleiman genies who built for him synagogues full of statues so uh shayateen have a very uh embarrassment uh, or let us say embarrassing uh, situation in islam because they work for allah as you see here those they work allah he sent those shayateen to work for sulayma Uh, a Muslim she said to me here in the text let us read her comment why would your God allow false prophet to appear and to make false verses which says God you see <clears throat> why my God allow you even to this belief I wish you can ask yourself the same question because according to Islam everything is destiny according to Christianity it is not according to Christianity Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Which means, there's the will of God, and this is your will. Choose which one you want. If you choose to do the will of God, which means you agree that your will should be in agreement with the will of God, then you go to the heaven of God. In Islam, is not the, not the story. So it's very funny to ask me this question. What about, I ask you the same question. Why you're Allah, who taught you to believe in destiny which is one of the import, most important things to believe in Islam allow me right now to speak against him isn't it Allah who appointed the shayateen isn't it Allah 
who guide and misguide so if I am misguiding right now according to Islam Allah is the one who is sending me to misguide if we go in the Quran <clears throat> we will find the following read carefully with me please and I will show you many many verses not only Uh, not only one verse so you will not say he is picking up some verses and you can read verses before and verses after because at the end of the day Quran is a very silly book verse before verse after have nothing to do with each other if you go in the Quran you will find that Allah in tons of verses saying that Allah is the one who lie and he is the one who misguide us in chapter 4 verse number 88 read carefully Samira it says then what is the matter with you that you are divided into two parties about the hypocrites Muslims are divided Allah has cast cast them back to disbelief who is the one who cast them back to disbelief <laughs> guys who is the one who cast them back to disbelief Allah Do you see it? Did it not cast by themselves? Allah cast them back to disbelief. So if those people left Islam, it will be because Allah, He is the one who cast them back to disbelief. And then He continued because of what they earned. But it doesn't matter, you know, what earned, why you are casting them back. You should guide them. If I am, you see, Jesus said, I came to the sick, not to the healthy. If somebody is sick, you help him. You don't cast him. So look what he said. Do you want to guide whom Allah made go astray in this Euro Muslim translation? In, in Arabic, actually, it says, أَتُرِيدُونَ أَن تَهْدُ مَنْ أَضَلَّ الله? Are you going to guide the one who deceived by Allah? وَمَنْ يُضْلِلْ الله فلن تجد له سبيلا. And the one who Allah deceived nobody can guide in your Muslim translation which is not even close to the accuracy but we will let it take it from there do you want to guide whom Allah made go astray who is the one who made people go astray Allah and he read carefully and he whom Allah has made go astray <laughs> you will never find a way for him between two brackets to guide this. Hey, Samira, we are in this chapter. What's wrong with this chapter? What's wrong with this chapter? You don't want this chapter? And chapter 110 in the Quran is one of the most funny verse, a chapter in the Quran. I, actually, I don't know how you can call it a chapter. Is that a chapter? That is not a chapter. That is a tissue. I mean, why you are you asking me to go there? If we go to the chapter 110, the one she, Samira she is asking me for, and you see, you Muslims, you are hurting your God willingly. I mean, what you are asking me to go there? Don't you know who I am? I'm a Christian prince. You are going to hurt your God by choosing that chapter. Are you sure you want me to go to chapter 110, Samira? Is that what do you want? Maybe, maybe. Is that the one you want? Look at this chapter. The Muslim they say to us Islam is religion of peace hmm? verse number one when come Allah help when the Allah help come come to who to Muhammad by what by war we saw people entering Allah religion by crowds so people don't want to enter Islam until the sword came and when Muhammad became victorious people by thousands converting I, I, I say shahada I say please don't kill me when the victory came People into Islam by thousands. If we go and read the interpretation, Ibn Kathir al Qurtubi al Tabari, all of them they say when Muhammad was victorious in the war, people they enter Islam by thousands. So you just again prove to me that Islam is nothing but a cult. Because look, your God is the one saying that I am the one who must guide them 
and look what happened the, the one who really guide them is Muhammad by the sword so how Allah is the one he is the one who must guide them and he was asking in the verse before it are you going to guide the one who Allah is making misguide <laughs> correct guys isn't it this very saying are you trying to guide the one who Allah make them as guide? You will never find a way for them. But look what Hamid Muhammad he was victorious in the war, and suddenly thousands of people they enter. And thank you, Samira, for asking me to read that verse. <clears throat> Proving that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because are you going to guide them speaking to who? To people of Quraysh. But all of them they converted to Islam later. And here Muhammad showing how false prophet he is because he never thought they would convert for sure they converted by the sword so are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide the one who Allah deceived and he who Allah made him deceived you will never do you see the word never never find for him anyway Hmm? No, uh, Samira, my God, he did a lot of things about false prophet, and the proof is me. Here we go. I'm spanking your prophet every day. My Lord, the Messiah, he said, you know them from their fruit. From their fruits, you shall know them. So he gave us the guideline. Your prophet speak about God, but he's a child molester. He's the killer. He's a thief. Even the Muslims accuse him of his thin underwear. So what do you mean my God did not do anything? Secondly, I can show you right now that my God did a lot of things to prove to us easy that Muhammad is a false prophet. As an example, this verse in the Quran. This verse in the Quran, I think it happened by my God, not by your God. Muhammad, he, did, he said in chapter 69, Muhammad, he was saying, Supposedly, this God of Muhammad is talking, but we know that Muhammad is the fabricator. But Muhammad never thought that this will happen to him. So he said, And if he invented false saying, he who? Muhammad. Concerning us, us who? Allah. Because Allah is a group, us is a corporation. We surely, assuredly, we had taken, uh, uh, had taken him by the right hand and then served, uh, severed his life artery. You can change the translation if you don't like this one. Which one you like? Which one you like? All of them, they say the same. And we should certainly then cut off the artery of his heart. If we go in the hadith, we will find that this is exactly how Muhammad did. And I believe my God, he did that. Which means he is the one who caused Muhammad to die in such a way and to expose him. Look what Muhammad said. This is your prophet saying, the prophet in his element which he died. He used to say, O oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel as my orta is being cut off from the poison. Isn't it, this is amazing? It's exactly what it says in the Quran that if he is a liar, Allah will cut his order. So if Muhammad is a liar, if Muhammad is a liar, how he will die? The verse in the front of you. And how Muhammad die? The hadith in the front of you. So what do you mean my God did not do anything? Uh, uh, Muhammad Qasim he's saying uh, hold on I like to show the Muslim comments so we can share together uh, the Muslim opinion <clears throat> uh, Muhammad Qasim said the hadith on the artery uh, does not approve your point because it was expression of death not literally because how can you feel being cut off Arabian Prophet that's a very nice, smart try. 
you see you just accuse your prophet to be a false prophet again because your prophet when a guy he came to him and he said to him my brother is sick and he said to him tell him to drink honey and then after he drank honey three times coming back word back backward and, and he keeps saying to him my brother getting sick your prophet scream at him and said your brother's stomach is lying and Allah told the truth so Muhammad he claimed that even knowing the diseases or the illness is not his knowledge is from Allah so when Muhammad here he says and the Quran confirmed وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى Nothing Muhammad he say, but it is from Allah. When Muhammad he says, I feel that now my aorta is being cut off. It doesn't say it cut off already. It's being. It's in the process. And this is showing us that you do not know even how to read Arabic, neither English. Is being cut off. Is in the process. He is not dead yet. Thank you. And if you are saying this is not a proof, that's mean the whole Quran is a lie. Because the Quran is saying, the proof if Muhammad is a liar or not, we will do this to him so if this is not approved that's mean you deny the Quran and you deny Muhammad to be a prophet so guys how Muslims they got their prophet busted he said it would be a miracle because it stayed alive for a long time and regarding the honey man eventually become well <laughs> that's what your Muslim says obviously he's not the man he never came back because he was scared to be killed secondly you said that he this is a miracle because he lived for long this is not a miracle this is a big punishment he is dying slowly with pain because you're a prophet he says my uh, is, is since he ate the poison he was suffering and I can show you tons of hadith what is the miracle the miracle will be if your God Allah save him not Allah did not save him and here we need to ask our question why Muhammad died by poison and Allah did not save him but Allah he jumped to save Jesus and he sent his limousine to him and he took him from the cross but in the case of Muhammad and the Muslim they claim that Muhammad is the favorite person between all mankind to God Yet Allah, he let him die by poison. Why Allah will not save Muhammad, but he want to save Jesus, and supposedly he did. Especially this story here, if we go and see what happened to Muhammad, and we made a video about it actually. If you go and watch my video previously I made about Muhammad who killed the prophet, you will see that the woman she said, Muhammad asked her, why you put the poison? She said, well, if you are a prophet, Allah will save you. If you are not, if you are just a king, you will die, and then we get rid of you. And then Muhammad he says, Allah lan yaqdur, laka dhalik. So you will not be able to do so because Allah will not let you do it. But as you see, it happened. What the Quran said? Oh uh, no, my friend, it's not an honor. Uh, hold on, hold on. You, you see, you see the the fallacy of Muslims. Look at this. He said that's mean his death is a, uh, as a murder that's an honor that's not because this is was an examination of him being a prophet or not especially the Quran saying if he was a liar we will cut his artery how that can be an honor the Quran saying if he is lying so if you are lying your God he promised you to kill you and that would be an honor to die lying <laughs> you see that to die as a murderer that will be if it, he die in different way but your prophet confirmed how he died I feel sorry for you secondly in case you don't remember oh, I forgot you don't remember anything you are a Muslim you know nothing and not remember you don't know I am your sheikh I am the sheikh of all sheikhs of Islam what the Quran says about things happen to us What the Quran says the Quran says that all bad things happen to anyone in the world happen by Allah will hmm? read carefully <clears throat> do you see it nothing bad can happen to any human being except by Allah will so the death of Muhammad by poison happened by who by Allah will how that will make him a murderer 
bad thing you see the word there musiba this is bad so the Aisha when she was reporting the story that Muhammad he used to say that means he keeps saying the same words it's not a one time twice and then when he was dying in the element of death he said I feel now my heart vein is being cut off what do you want more right no 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 you see you know it says not right away where is the verse that says right away right away is right away right away we cut his aorta and this is when he cut his artery you see if I say to you you will die by a car accident and then you die by car accident how what happened you have an accident today but you die after a year or two years because of the accident still you die because of the accident <laughs> correct guys if I am if I am a person who have an accident even 10 years ago if somebody was shot by a bullet let us say a bullet went in his brain but the bullet stay there and then after 10 years still he died by the bullet still he died by the bullet nothing changed trying to save your prophet it doesn't work and as you see here nothing bad can happen except by the will of Allah and here we answer the Muslim who says may Allah guide you as you see again Allah if 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 not being a Muslim is something bad well it was the will of Allah do you see it nothing bad can happen to any one of us except by the will of Allah it was Allah decision and if anyone believes in Allah Allah guide his heart all right for Allah knows all things how how you say that he is the how you can guide somebody who Allah must guide and then and if somebody believe or what somebody believe you just say it, it is him who made him believe the verse about talking about cutting his orta is talking about the judgment day that will be funny by the way because in the judgment day you are dead anyway in the judgment day you're resurrected you will not be uh, you will not be caused to death in the judgment day your God Allah he will bring the death and he will slaughter him what are you talking about I mean Muslims are very silly in their answers I feel sorry you know I feel sorry for your God your God he hire very low IQ people in the judgment day there's no death you idiot in the judgment day everybody will be resurrected and Muhammad will be the first to be resurrected as he claimed and after resurrection no death even for those in heaven or in hell so stop being foolish try something else squeeze it squeeze it change your uh, diet uh, change the drink uh, no more camel urine as you see the failure of those Muslims trying to defend yeah in the judgment day Allah will slaughter death he will you know he will bring him in the shape of a sheep uh, uh, you know and he will slaughter him which means there's no death no more very silly very silly I feel sorry for you Muslims you have no idea what are you talking about I never saw a Muslim he can answer me about anything even about the name of his prophet the only one really he can debate me is a genius his name is Zakir Naik and Zakir Naik if we ask him why Zakir Naik why this is happening he can say to us the following the brother said there the person is named the Christian prince and he would make light about the prophet and he said that the prophet he died by Putin in fact the prophet he denied by because of Putin the prophet died because he have 13 mother-in-law it's very hard imagine you have four wives and you have four mother-in-law the prophet have 13 brother and this is why he died it's not what not because of the Putin uh, but Zakir Naik the hadith did not say because of the mother-in-law it says because he ate food and poison a brother mother-in-law is the team at poison because every day you have to eat from the death and it's like poison and it is metaphorical uh this is metaphorical absolutely uh because zakir Naik, as i said i am they are the only one who can refute me and and i told you i am sexy and i know it and don't ever call me again I mean, this is Zakir Naik, you know. Oh, Muslims, you have no idea. You have the most funny, stupid cult ever. And this is why none of you dare even to say hello to me. Your scholars avoid seeing me. You know, 
like they take a detour when they see me. Did you notice? Mm. Jesus by was hated by all the people. Uh, you know, my friend, when you say Jesus was hated by all the people, that's very, really, very naive of you. Because Jesus, uh, before even the crucifixion, he was welcomed by thousands in Jerusalem. Same time, who is the apostle of Jesus? Same time when you say he was. This is what life is about. Choice. Those who accept God, they will be rewarded. And those who reject, they will be taking punishment. So what that to prove him? Same time, when you say to me, your prophet, your prophet did not make, make anyone accept him. The one who joined him is a gang. And I can show you the reference. Even your prophet, he says, I been victorious by terror. So nobody believe in Muhammad. People, they joined religion because of terror. And your sister Samira, may Allah find her husband, the fourth one, she said, read for me the chapter 110, which is a chapter of victory, which is proving that this has happened because of war. People in one day enter into Islam by tens of thousands. Look what your prophet said. Is it true that your prophet said, I've been victorious by terror? So Jesus was beloved, and now he is the most beloved person. He was not a terrorist like your prophet. He killed none. He did not force anyone to believe in him. You're a prophet saying it clearly, and the words in the front of your eyes, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, I've been victorious by terror. And not only that, in different hadith he says, people are terrified because of me from a distance of one month. One month distance. This is how terrifying <laughs> the terrorist Muhammad, which means ISIS are very nice compared to Muhammad. Right? So you, Muhammad, and you have no idea what are you talking about. This is your prophet saying clearly he is a terrorist. I've been supported by fear and terror. He is a criminal. All those hadiths saying the same. Allah Apostle said, I have been given things which five things which none been given. Which one? I was victorious by terror hmm? from a distance of one month journey. This is number one. Number one, your prophet, he is proud about that he is the number one terrorist and nobody is a terrorist like him. To the point people, they scared of his name from a distance of one month journey. Do you see it? People, when they see the name of Jesus, they are not scared. They are not terrified. For the Messiah is a loving person. People, when they hear the name of Muhammad, and actually until now, Allahu Akbar is a sign of terrorism. A terrorist, he screams, Allahu Akbar, he explodes himself. That is the truth. That is the truth. So when this Muslim, he says to me, trying to be nice, or let us say playing nice, if he, because I don't believe really a Muslim, is saying may Allah guide you. I mean, then the Muslims they knew even they cannot pray for non-Muslims. It is haram. A Muslim he should be always according to Islam cursing non-Muslims. This is why the Quran, chapter five, verse fifty-one, says it clearly: you cannot take a Christians and Jews as a friends. Actually, Quran, chapter nine, verse twenty-three, forbid the Muslims even from taking their own parents as a friends. And this is literally, not metaphorically. So when a Muslim he tried to school us, he always failed 
for many reasons number one Muslims some of them some of them they play taqiyya taqiyya which mean okay I'm going to lie to those ignorant who do not know anything about Islam they are Western they have no idea what Islam is about and I will lie as much as I wish and then there's other side of the story okay I will deny what the Quran teaching and what Islam teaching and those are ignorant they do not know what Islam teaching number three I will play as victim and I will make them look bad so just yesterday we heard the news actually two days ago that a Muslim tribe in Mali attack a Christian tribe and they slaughter more than 200 people in the news they say 95 people being burned right uh, Harry is saying that in in the Old Testament it says kill your parents this is not about parents this is about being uh, being apostate and you are being ignorant as long you are saying that you're a prophet he copied from Moses and he said whoever leave his religion kill him whoever doesn't matter even if you're it's your mom and this is why I say Muslims are ignorant they do not know what they are talking about they talk talk much but they don't know what they are talking about whoever leave his religion kill him whoever whoever your mother your father your parent your son it doesn't matter Judaism is an ethnic it's a citizenship and religion in the same time which mean if you leave them you betray the nation it's not about Judaism only it's about you are leaving the 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 the, the tribe betraying betraying the tribe in Islam doesn't matter really what your tribe whoever changes his religion kill him right so when when a Jew he leave to worship different God he is leaving he's cast out and he is leaving his religion and even his his people he's betraying them and if you are against that for the Jews to practice such a thing well why you don't go and say Muhammad is an evil person very double standard do we have any Muslim want to say anything uh, Harris you can cause for me whatever if I talk about slavery I can show you the Quran says if a slave kill if a free man kill a slave a slave will be killed Are you willing to talk about it? If a woman kill a, 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 a man for a free for the free, slave for the slave, and women for the women, hmm? is that religion? Try, try something better. Hmm? Your prophet, he said the same. You see, Harris, why you don't call me and I will make everybody laugh at you? Guys, the prophet said, whoever, whoever treat a slave badly, he will never enter paradise. Are you willing to call me and we will make the topic about slavery? And we will see what your prophet said about treating the slaves? A slave actually if he marry without the permission of his honor he can face death in Islam your prophet he tortured his slaves your prophet even he used to beat the Muslims and as you see the Quran saying in the case of murder free for the free slave for the slave women for the women if a man he kill a, a free man a white man kill a black man the free man the white man will not be killed Hmm? You're a prophet, he says. If somebody mistreat a, a cat, he will go to hell. <laughs> but your prophet ordered to kill all the dogs. You're a prophet, he ordered to kill all the Christians, all the Jews. So your your prophet he is merciful with the cat. 
your prophet he cut a woman two pieces when she is over 80 years old alive so Muslims they quote for us things which is very silly actually if your prophet was merciful to the slaves why he did not free them hmm? why he made them slaves Muhammad he received gifts as slaves who is married a copt who is her cousin who is her sister a gift all of them they are gift <clears throat> Muhammad he took them as gift and he was selling and buying slaves and by the way freeing a slave in, in Islam it, it was to promote slavery and I will show you why if we go here as an example <laughs> All right. In chapter 2, verse 178, it says in the case of penalty of murder. Okay, what is the what is the justice here? The justice is free for the free, slave for the slave female for the female we go to the interpretation it says if a free man kill only will be killed if he killed the free man okay what if a free man kill his slave very simple kill the slave of the other guy or the killer so now we have two victims we have the first slave was killed by a free white man white or a man and now now the one who killed the slave he will be uh, punished by killing a slave he owned <laughs> women for the women I mean what kind of justice the justice is right <laughs> secondly <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> when you make you when you make a penalty of killing a Muslim by mistake what is the penalty of killing a Muslim by mistake? It says the following. You have to free a slave and you have to pay his family money. Now look at this. This is a penalty, not a reward for the slave. Because why you don't, why you, why they have slaves anyway? Let them free the slaves. Muhammad, he can make one word, say, hey, all of you free the slaves and everybody will be free. No, it's a penalty. So now he free a slave, he have to go to Muhammad and buy a new one. It is not for a believer to kill a believer, except that maybe by mistake. And whoever is killed a believer by mistake, it's ordained that he must set a free a believing slave <laughs> you have slaves who they are believing slaves muslims are mus enslaving muslims yes so now you free a believing slave and then you need a slave still so what do you do you go to the market of slavery which is owned by muhammad to buy a new slave it's like a guy who own a cow business he's a cowboy he says, if you commit sin, you have to slaughter your cow and come to my store to buy a cow. So freeing a slave was a penalty, not a reward. To increase the demand of slavery. All the caliphate, with no exception, including Muhammad, have thousands and thousands of slaves. Hmm? What kind of religion this religion is? And not only the not only that, the Quran approved that a Muslim man he can use slaves as prostitutes. Muhammad he never stand against prostitution. Look what he did. This is all what he came with. And let those who find blah 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 blah. It's okay. And then he says, and forest not your maids. 
to prostitution if they desire chastity if they desire chastity if which mean if they don't it's okay what kind of religion this religion is Prost prostitution is legal as long you are using your slaves you cannot make a free woman work as a prostitute if a free woman she do prostitution business that would be considered adultery but if you are a slave they can use you for adultery as business but force them not and why what what this is the complaint because women they start complaining a lot of me, their men they are going around you know exchanging women slaves for money for uh, like uh, I will give you one of my slaves you give me a goat you know you sleep with her for five six days in return you give me something it's a prostitution and even if you force them, there is no single punishment in the Quran for prostitution. Never. And why we shall have Muhammad himself here on the business. So it's Jaman. He wanna call me now. Now he wanna call me, are you sure? Okay, let me open my Skype. Hold on. <clears throat> Even though it's it's too late actually here for me, it's almost 2 a.m. in the morning. But we will take five minute call. <clears throat> well, I don't see anyone here. Nobody's trying to call me. Nobody. So as you see, Muslims they say things which is funny, and Islam is the most funny, you know, silly cult. Additional to that, you know, uh, if I am, you know, let me share, let me say, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna join Islam. What I will get? <laughs> I mean, this God is really a funny God. He have a mentality of a stupid kid. Look what the God of Islam, he promised me in heaven. He will give me a bracelet from gold. Finally, I will get a bracelet made of gold. Mm -hmm. Which is very, uh, you know, unmanly for me to wear. I mean, why a man when I wear a bracelet of gold? That's not manly behavior sound fishy actually and they will wear a green garment of fine thick silk I mean, what is that hey, Allah is telling me do you know I'm going to buy you some Gucci I mean this is God what is this what is that man and by the way it doesn't even say what he is saying it says mean sundusin was stubrock nowhere it's mentioned the word silk uh, it mentioned Stabrak. Stabrak is a Persian uh, brand which is exist in the time of Muhammad. For sure, it's not a brand. I mean, it's like a, a kind of fabric made in Iran. So what kind of a silly prophet? He claimed that Allah, he is the one who is talking, yet he is copying a word of a fabric made in Iran. And what is the fabric? Green silk. It's known to be expensive. So Muhammad, he knew those Arab, they never have that. So he promised them, brother, if you convert to my religion, brother, I will make you wear a bracelet, brother, made of gold, brother. And not only that, brother, you will wear Gucci, brother. And the Abdul like, what? Prophet, Prophet, did you say Gucci? I said Gucci. Prophet, are you sure? Yes, Gucci, I'm telling you. And it's not made in China, it's made in Iran. This is God. This is God is talking. <clears throat> all right, all right. The screen is on. Take it easy. This is God, the God of Gucci, green silk. This is heaven. And then we are going to recline on our couches. 
it doesn't say throne by the way and it doesn't say even couches it says on our pillows I mean what is that this is God and then brother <clears throat> Uh, we eat their fruits, brother. I mean, what do you want more? We have a fruits there. And brother, not only we have a fruit, brother, we have wine. No beer, sorry. <laughs> so what is that? This is extremely stupid and silly. This is God talking. And then he tell me that he is going to have to, to bring me women who nobody touched their... Uh, <coughs> you believe it? Nobody touched their private part. And I'm using the word touched to be polite. Read with your own eyes the Muslim translation. This is God. God is describing for me what is inside the women vagina. This is Allah. Uh, Allah, can you take a picture please, for us so we can find out what is exactly we will see. This is God. And not only that, those women, each time you break that skin inside the private part, Allah will touch them there and he will make them virgin again, which again, he is a cheater. Because what the point? I just slept with her. So you Muslims, you want to, you know, convert to Islam. This is, this is stupid. This is what? This is, you go to any pimp in Las Vegas, you have something better. What is that? Aren't you ashamed even to be God? You see, I was I was listening once uh, to the potato did that. I don't have a chance to debate him. He died. He was saying the book of uh, uh, Song of Songs. Are you proud to read the uh, Song of Songs for your children? The Song of Songs is not God talking. It's a king making a point. And the point is not even about sex. It sounds like sexual, but it's not about sex. However, it's a man making a point. This is God talking. And it's not about a woman. It's about a city. It's called Jerusalem. This is about a vagina, real vagina, not, not metaphorical. And then the Muslims did that. He told them that the name of Muhammad found in the Song of Songs. Since then, nobody speak against the Song of Songs. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Anyway, my friends, just I wanted to make this video. I don't want to make it longer. Uh, I will try to get to go again live uh, after. You see, the pro I, like I did not go. Uh, if I see the video, not many people watch it yet. That's mean why I should make a new video. And you know, our videos are really important and they are nothing but education, pure education. We don't waste our time giving you speeches about Muslims. I don't, I'm not here to fight Muslims. Muslims are poor people. They are victims of the stupidity of Islam. I'm here to fight ignorance. So if we don't find that people respond to what we do, uh, highly appreciated, why I need to make a new video right away every day, every day, every day? If nobody is even watching the video we just made. So help us, you know, spread the videos, tell your friends, download the videos, so we can see that our work really is needed. All right? Otherwise, I would go and work on my books, you know, 
we have I have many books to finish right now I'm working in three books in the same time and the reason I'm working in three books in the same time because if you focus on one book sometime it became very st stressful to speak about one topic so I'm you know like I take a break from one topic to go to the second one but at the end of the day all of them they are bad topics as long as we are talking about the cult of Muhammad so please help us to spread the truth and the truth will set you free we open a Skype no Muslim call and as I was expecting they don't dare to call I hope that tomorrow I mean today if I can I will go live on air depending on how many people watch the video if not maybe the day after I want to say thank you guys for being here and uh, good morning people in Indonesia Philippine India and actually this is why I made my broadcast at this time so you can be with us people in USA are still asleep actually they just went to bed and people in Europe maybe now they are just getting up so thank you everybody Christ is Lord and Islam is false see you soon again bye bye